Steve with the Union Fitness and Fun, and we're here today to talk about nut butters. In fact, the title of this video is Let's Go Nuts. All credit to the title to our lovely Lisa Preston Pilates <laughs> and yoga teacher extraordinaire. She's actually holding the camera right now. I'm gonna grab it and turn it around. Say hi, Lisa. Hi, we're very excited. We're here at HEB. We're going shopping together. That, ex that amazing cinematography was, was all me. I'm not gonna be a professional cameraman. All right, I'm gonna hand this back to Lisa. Here we go. Go purchase some nut butters, purchase some bread, and maybe a few other things like apples and bananas, and talk about how we can use this as a healthy snack. Follow me. I love that Steve is wearing a backpack. <laughs> Does he not look like Buzz Lightyear? <laughs> oh, to infinity and beyond. To infinity and beyond. All right, what we have here is some rave apples. Um, I've actually never tried these. Uh, I talked to the uh, head of produce at HEB. They're very interested in this. And um, the rave apple is a cousin of Honeycrisp apples. And if you've tried a Honeycrisp apple, they are amazing, especially if you like really crispy apples. I don't like mealy apples. So a great snack is sliced apples and peanut, you know, natural peanut butter or almond butter. And so we're gonna try these rave apples today. It's got a pretty nice price point, $1.97 a pound. So what's also interesting is one of the initial issues for me with a Honeycrisp apple was they were ginormous. So it's fine for me, because I'm ginormous, but for most people that may be too much apple. So these rave apples look like they're a uh, relatively moderate size. Now one thing, what you're gonna see me do here is grab these apples, and you're gonna see me not put them in a small plastic bag because we don't need to put them in a small plastic bag, right? You can put your apples in your bag and and you know, or in your cart and they're not gonna go anywhere. You don't need to waste that much plastic, people. All right. Be green. Yeah, that's right, next. Now we're gonna go get some bananas because my favorite peanut butter or almond butter snack either way is a peanut butter and banana sandwich, right? Because that's an American tradition. I'm not gonna fry it like Elvis, but I am gonna use some delicious bread. And let's go find some H-E-B bananas. Follow me. So, of course the conversation will come up, should we go organic versus non-organic? I bought regular apples. Um, the general rule of thumb is if it's thin-skinned, you might wanna go organic because it's, le it's more likely any kind of pesticides can see through that skin. A banana's got a thick skin on there, so that's one reason you might go organic is a banana, thick skin, pesticides likely not getting in there. However, if you just wanna put your vote with your dollar and put your money to support you know, more sustainable agriculture, you might spend the extra 10 cents a pound and buy organic bananas, even if it's not really you know, protecting you, or in theory, protecting you from pesticides as much as, say, berries or apples. So we'll go to the extra 10 cents and get the banana. Yes! <laughs> I'm an organic person all the way. All right, here we go. I thought um, one last thing we might get for a snack with peanut butter is carrots. Obviously, you're only limited to your imagination here. I saw some avocados. I wonder what peanut butter and avocados would taste like. Probably delicious, because they're both delicious. But we'll just get some carrots for now. go with the organic carrots just to be on the safe side. My kids love carrots. I really don't care so much if I eat organic, but you know, I feel bad if my kids got sick because I was too cheap to buy 30% carrots, so we're 30% more expensive, so, all right. Also go look at some of our, our bread. Some people are avoiding bread. I love bread. So I'm gonna show you my favorite new bread that I've seen recently that's amazing for a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Let's go. Let's go. or celiac or wheat uh, issues. Um, bread can be uh, certainly part of a healthy, well-balanced diet. Um, my favorite new brand of bread is Dave's Bread. So uh, Dave is a, it's a company out of San Francisco. They have breads such as this called Good Seed and you can get them in the big slices or smaller slices. It's got a little bit of weight to it. I don't like my bread to feel like a tortilla. You know, I like it a little heavy. <laughs> it's not super heavy. Um, do yeah. you like nuts, Steve? I do. Do I like Or nuts. seeds in I your love, bread? I, I actually love nuts and seeds. Now, I know some people don't. My son doesn't. Um, but uh, I get it. So you can find a non-seeded bread. But this good seed, it's not the healthiest version. It's a little bit sweeter. And if you can see, um, and the small slices, you get 70 calories per slice. So you can have a sandwich that's fairly low calorie. 
three grams of fiber per slice. So if you're having two slices, six grams of fiber, six grams of protein. It's not a complete protein most likely, uh, but with um, things you put on it like a peanut butter sandwich or a turkey sandwich, you'll, you'll get there. Only 13 carbs um, per slice. So it's, you know, it's a, a way to, to, to keep calories in control and, and have a, a healthy treat. Um, they have English muffins. H-E-B has a, a great, um, you know, store lines. Um, we buy H-E-B bagels and whatnot. So this is what I'm gonna make with my peanut butter and banana sandwich later. Yum. Um, it's gonna be so good. All right. All right, so first thing we're gonna pull out is the classic standard peanut butter that we all ate as kids. Um, it could be Jiffy, it could be Peter Pan. I love peanut butter. It's weird, my kids don't like peanut butter. It's just me for some reason. I just don't think they've tried it enough, but uh, I could eat peanut butter all day long. Now, the problem with these peanut butters is, what they do is uh, they pull out the peanut oil when they make peanut butter, because peanut oil is valuable. So for example, at Chick-fil-A, they cook all their food in peanut oil because it's a relatively healthy oil when you compare it to say classic vegetable oils, hydrogenated oils. So the peanut industry, peanut butter industry figure that out and what they do is they pull out all the peanut oil out of their nut butters and sell it and then replace it with a cheaper and less valuable hydrogenated oil. So if you pull up the ingredients, what you'll see here is peanuts, hydrogenated oils. Those are really, really bad for you, cottonseed, um, and sugar, right? Because they add sugar and vegetable oils to make it a taste better, to make it stirrable, and really to make a, a bigger profit because they can sell that peanut oil. So ideally, we're going to go with a natural peanut butter that does not have hydrogenated oils in it. All right. Now, um, if I grab, I'm a smooth peanut butter guy. If you like crunchy, that's fine. It doesn't make a difference. I'm crunchy. All right, you are crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa is crunchy. All right, so if we take the Central Market Smooth Peanut Butter, the ingredients here are dry roasted peanuts. That's it. There's no added sugar. There's no added salt. I think salt's fine, but one ingredient. That's what you're looking for. Now, one could argue that peanuts are not really a nut. They're a, they're a, a legume. They're part of the legume family. So if you have legume issues, maybe you want to switch to an almond butter. I'm neither here nor there on that. So I would argue that maybe the fats in almond butter are a little healthier than the fats in peanut butter. Assuming we're not eating four of these a day, I just don't really think it matters that much, but it's also a matter of taste preference and, and how much almond butter you're, you're eating or peanut butter you're eating. So we're gonna take one of these for, for my sandwich later on. And I believe Lisa likes almond butter, is that I correct? I do. All right. So there's an almond butter here at the store. Uh, I saw it earlier. Where, Where are it? we? Oh, right no, here. Yay. Here it is. Yes. The Maranatha, awesome. Maranatha, Maranatha, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, almond butter. So, this has got almonds. Now, it has some sugar and some cane oil or some palm oil in there, right? And my assumption is the palm oil and this, probably not a huge amount of it, but it's to make it stir, right? So, you'll see a lot of peanut butters that are stir or no stir. I hate the, I hate the stir peanut butter, but, it, you know, you got to mix it up and stir it up. But, um, so, I'll go with no stir sometimes. But uh, you could probably also find at a different HEB or a, a central market, you could probably find more almond butter options if you wanted the ingredients just to say almonds. Lisa, do you have a preferred almond butter that you buy at HEB? A brand, or is this it, or is it? I buy that one a lot, and uh, I used to buy one called Woodstock. But I don't know you if you bought they an have almond it. butter called Woodstock. Woodstock of from course, Woodstock. Of course you did. Of course Crunchy you did. all the way. <laughs> Crunchy all the way. So we're gonna buy one of these. Awesome. We're, gonna, we're gonna try this little taste test in a little while and see how that goes. Now, we're not gonna go down this rabbit hole, but if you look here, you've got cashew butter. You've got look at this. You've got cookie butter made with crushed cookies. <laughs> this sounds delicious, although it is not healthy. You know, and I have other side. Um, I want to say that Nutella. Nutella is terrible for you. People think that's healthy. This is absolutely junk garbage. Um, it's delicious, so if you're buying it as a dessert, knock yourself out, right? It's like eating cookies or brownies. I had two brownies last night. They were amazing. So if this is what you love, great. 
But what I don't want you to do is buy this under, under the, the premise that it's healthy or good for you. This is not a healthy snack. Buy some natural almond butter, some natural peanut butter. This is the number one, the number one ingredient, which means by volume, the, the biggest ingredient here is sugar, number one. Then it's palm oil. It's not even a real nut, nut oil, right? Then the third ingredient is hazelnuts, right? So um, this is <laughs> this is this is hilarious. Uh, I know Lisa Stevens loves Nutella. Uh, you know, I, that's not for me, but just a, that's my that's my Nutella rant. <laughs> So we're also going to look for um, some single serving packets of almond butter or peanut butter because they're easy to travel with and what we'll discuss later on is how quantity can be the issue with nut butter. It's easy to overeat but when you have a single serving packet, it's just more, it's limited, right? So let's go look for some of those. If they're not here in the aisle, maybe they're in the snack aisle. Come on. Alright, we're in the snack aisle. It's also the nut aisle. Maybe they're here, maybe not. Uh, if not, I guess I could always ask somebody. Uh, but I never ask for help because I'm That's a male. A guy That's what we do. And even my, my, when my wife asked if I asked somebody, I say, sure, of course I do. Yeah. So, are Pringles on our list today? No. no? Okay. <laughs> Darn. <Let's check> <laughs> All right, so we're here now at the Union Fitness and Fun Park Oaks location. And it's about a little under 12 o'clock, so we have our awesome lunchtime CrossFit clue getting after it getting after it in there and then we have our infernal Pilates in our big room getting ready to, to suffer <laughs> from Claire's infamous hot Pilates classes and we're going to take the ingredients that we bought um, at HEB a little while ago and uh, make some delicious nut butter snacks or sandwiches so the genesis of this the other night I was coaching a class and, and the conversation came up uh, nut butters. Well, I had a, y a young lady who was like, oh yeah, they're super healthy, right? And I said, that, that depends. Um, there's certainly nothing inherently wrong with nuts and nut butters, but a lot of people um, unknowingly overeat and overconsume nuts and nut butters. And the reason is they're calorically dense. Some of the healthy fats they have are healthy fats, but they're highly caloric. And what most people don't realize is a serving size of nut butters is really not very big. And most people are, when they're making a peanut butter or an almond butter sandwich or, or apples and almond butter, they're eating a lot more nut butter than they thought. So what we're gonna do now, Lisa and I are gonna make some of our favorite uh, nut butter snacks. Mine's gonna be a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Uh, Lisa, what are you gonna make? I don't know, you got apples. Maybe we have to try those apples. She's gonna have some apples. I know she likes almond butter. And yes. we're gonna, we have our, we both brought our own food scales here. And so we're gonna actually weigh out what a serving of nut butter looks like. And I assume it's gonna be able to make me, one serving will make me many sandwiches. So let's find out. <laughs> All right, so we now have the lovely Lisa on camera as well, um, wearing her, her official union apparel, available at most stores, hopefully. Uh, so we got our bananas for my peanut butter banana sandwich. We got my Dave's Good Seed Bread, which is delicious. We have uh, the HEB Central Markets uh, peanut butter, which again we discussed earlier, only ingredient is peanuts, which is really nice. And then we have Lisa's almond butter, California almond butter, so you know it's extra hippie. <laughs> we wouldn't want any Texas almond butter. There might be little bits of guns and beef in the Texas almond butter, but here it's only sunshine and smiles. All right. Bell bottoms. <laughs> and let's talk about portion size. So um, we, we both have our personal uh, uh, scale here. These are digital food scales. They don't have to be digital. They're super cheap. I bought this one probably 10 years ago. You know I bought it 10 years ago because I've lost the bottom that holds the batteries in and I use duct tape to keep the batteries in. And it still works. All right. So I'm going to make a peanut butter banana sandwich. What are you going to make? I'm going to make some apples and peanut butter. Ooh. Almond butter. Show them that. That's really good. It's, it's currently unspoiled. It has not been touched. So it's nice. Mm. All right. I have my delicious taste bread. I'm not going to go with the heel. I love the heel sometimes, but if I have a choice, I'm going to go with the uh, regular bread. Go uh, all out. My grandfather always ate the heels of bread. Oh. It was something like a fond memory. I remember he'd always eat the heels. So that was, his name was Gunpowder. <laughs> if that tells you, if that explains anything about myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what I'm concerned about for most of our clients, especially our clients that are interested in weight loss, 
is total caloric intake, because that's a big driver, probably the primary driver on weight loss, and not overeating. Um, and so all these things from, from a, a nut butter to a brownie can have a place in a, a healthy diet in limited qual quantities, right? So we're gonna, we, we know if you look in the back of this jar, one serving of nut butter is um, 190 calories. What is your say? Oh, mine is, uh-oh. 190 90, calories as well, like right? 190. It, that makes sense. Okay, and so it also says two tablespoons, and that's what I think people get confused at. They take two heaping tablespoons, when a tablespoon is usually a flat serving of tablespoons. So if you look at how much peanut butter fits, all butter fits in that, it's not very much. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna open up my peanut butter. Are you a skinny banana slice or a thick banana slice? I'm a thick banana slice, but it really you're cutting way too skinny already. Oh no. But it oh, no. actually it doesn't really matter. What I do is I put the entire banana in there. So right. and so sometimes I'll run out of a space and I'll just eat the banana. Right. Right so it's really not that important. Um, I had a doctor friend of mine point out that once you open some of these nut butters, especially the ones without preservatives, uh, many of them need to be refrigerated. So uh, if you are, unless you are living on the edge, kind of go that myself. And also, if they are separated, helps to keep them mixed, actually. Oh, so the fridge. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So. All right, so I'm going to stir mine up. There's a little bit of oil at the top, and that's just because it's natural. And so the oil naturally separates over time. Lisa's is not separated because hers has that palm oil on it, which I. I think it's kind of like my guess, and I could be wrong here. It's like a homogenizing. All right, so as an aside, I was stirring the peanut butter, and uh, in the big jars, if you've not seen this, I've seen guys on YouTube get their drill, and they plug in the stir to their drill bit, and they use their drill to stir. Uh, so if you, have, if you have a heavy duty case of peanut butter or almond butter, go get your power drill. All right, so I place my bread on my food scale. I'm gonna set it to zero. It says zero. Um, and it's, I'm going to change from ounces to grams because when I look at this, um, 32 grams is a serving of peanut butter. So let's take one, it's two tablespoons of 32 grams. So one flat tablespoon. Oh, you got it. It's still pretty, you know, pretty liquidy, so I can just kind of spoon it out, I think. Okay. All right. That's 16, 18. We're already. We're already well over half of my serving of peanut butter. Let's get one more. And we're going to here. I'm gonna, I am gonna spread this out. Oh, gotta be careful, I'm close. 30, 32. All right, so if you see my skill, you can't see over here, but Lisa can, and I'm sure she'll edit this in. It says 34 grams. One serving is 32 grams. You can see the peanut butter now. I, so I went a little over. Let's spread this around. On a normal size, or a large size piece of bread, right? It's not a tremendous amount of nut butter. I'm not going to take two grams off though because I want all of it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to put this other on my other piece of bread here. And so we've got 34 grams, a little more than one serving of nut butter. It barely covers um, the slice of peanut butter. So my point is. When people are eating nut butters, there's 190 calories in that one serving right there. It's very easy to overconsume. The fats are good fats. Uh, if you really want to go down that rabbit hole, you know, and choose almond butter, uh, it's the same amount of calories. It's the same thing. Lisa's gonna make her snack now, and uh, are you gonna are you gonna see are you gonna count portion or what are you gonna do here? I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of, I, I actually personally do not right. measure, uh, but I Most am Most people careful. don't. Most people don't. And you don't need to. I am very, I'm careful about how much. I, right. You know, I, I do believe in taking out what you're going to eat and putting it on a plate so right. that it's official. So that right. You can see it. So I usually kind of just do that. Mm -hmm. And that's roughly one tablespoon. Right. For okay. half an apple, it's probably plenty. Okay. Now, how do I know that's one tablespoon? That's a good question. Should I? Should yeah. I, I mean, the, oh, that's no. the problem. You're guessing. Now, All right, here you we could go. have used my actual tablespoon. I could. Right, right. But I could also hear. Well, now, the reality is, I don't expect you or even suggest that you weigh this every time. This is for fun. This Fair. is an example. 
but it wouldn't hurt to do it one Let's or two times. Out, like, what's a, what's a typical scoop for you? How much is it, right? You know, right. you never know. All right, oh, I'm on 29 ounces. ounces, you should hit the unit. So that's pounds. We want the metrics with them, 26 grams. So that's actually two tablespoons, almost oh, two tablespoons, wow. right? See? So one nice thing. I thought it was one. Right, right. Which, <laughs> you know, you're in, you're very healthy, in great shape. You have, you've already had this habit of not overeating. Right. But what happens when I have our, our weight loss clients, whatever they've been doing, they've been, they've been eating a little too much. And so, you know, I have, so when it comes to me, I help a lot of people and they'll say, oh, you know, well, I want to lose some weight. Okay, okay well, well, where are you now? Like, what are you eating now? Oh, I eat super clean, <laughs> right? I, I hear that. All Don't tell me you eat super clean. What does that mean? Well, and a lot of times, they're, they're well-intentioned. They eat lots of healthy foods, right. right? But they still overeat healthy foods. It's hard to overeat kale, and it's hard to overeat an apple, actually, because it's a lot of water, a lot of fiber. It's not hard to overeat nuts or nut butters. Um, that's something, you know, that's a very, um, uh, common trap we run into. And it's just something as simple as if you were to do that twice a day, right? You, that's 400 calories at that. 400 calories deficit is what you need to lose a pound of fat a week. Right. 400 calories a day. Yes. So if you're not being mindful, then then you, it's very easy to not be in a caloric deficit and, and, and you're wondering why am I, why is the scale not moving? Why am I not making progress? Well, it's these little behaviors that add up over time. Right. Uh, I'm gonna have my sandwich because it so looks delicious. So, do you cover yours? You cover yours. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm an open face sandwich person. It depends how hungry I am. Right. So if I'm really hungry, I'll do two open face. But okay. I just need a little snack right now. Just, just a little snack before lunch. Just a, this is a snack before lunch. The snack before lunch. <laughs> Let's get you started. All I'm right, gonna here bite. we go. Here we uh, go. See how it is. Mm. Mine's delicious. So, this apple's really good. Is it? Oh yeah. What is it called again? Rave. R A V E. Rave. You can also other options. Mm -hmm. Grab carrots. I, I like the crunch. So uh, you probably do cucumbers too if you want to. I wouldn't go as far as broccoli because broccoli's gross. <laughs> but, oh, broccoli. Uh, no. No. Well, All right. Okay, so. Let's say you don't want to take a food scale around you everywhere you go. You like nut butter to snack nut butter and apples. It's really a good snack, especially if you're able to control the quantity of nut butter. And you don't even want to get a jar of peanut butter when you don't work because it's messy. Um, Justin's and some other brands make these individual serving nut butter packets. Uh, it's one serving, therefore you don't have to guess, right, about portion control. It's 190 calories, just like we had in these. This is the almond butter, they have it, and they have different flavors, and they're all 190 calories. Um, 18 grams of fat, you know. Uh, I also don't recommend you counting uh, nut butters as your protein. There's a lot more fat in these uh, nut butters and nuts than there is protein. So uh, if you're a vegetarian and you're really, really, you know, trying to use all the vegetarian sources, maybe that's okay because you don't have a whole lot of options. Um, but but it's not a great protein source, but it's delicious. Um, and you can pull these up, pull these up, put them on your plate, have your apples, and you don't have to worry about counting quantity it already has. Do you like these? I do. They're good for, uh, I'm a 16 year old, so it's good for pack and lunch. Right, they take this for a snack. Yeah. Um, I'm going hiking in Big Bend in a couple weeks. I'm gonna take some of these for my snacks, get calories while I'm you know, hiking up, backpacking up the trail. Uh, and you can find all this stuff at ATV, right? This is all... Uh, go nuts! Yeah. Let's go nuts! Let's go nuts! Let's go nuts! <laughs> and um, we'll be back in the, in, in the future. So if you like this video, press like, subscribe, and uh, submit ideas. I think one of the things that, for future topics, I know lots of people would like to know what a day in the life of, of, of nutrition with, with Lisa's like, because you're in such great shape. You really are. And she's, you know, what, what her yoga practice is like, how often she does that. Uh, I'm sure lots of people want to know what I eat on a daily basis. Uh, it's going to be a lot more fun than Lisa's. Okay? And Monk? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Not, where we're not, going. Not, yeah, we're I'm not sure where we're going. Alright, we hope you guys have an amazing day. Anything else to add? That's it. Okay. Let's go nuts. Let's go nuts. Boom! I need my sandwich now.